champions. First time in 19 years. It sounds so good when it's said. Um, it feels amazing. I'm just uh, so extremely proud of the the work by these these athletes and the the team unity that was out here and displayed um, for four games in a row. Just extremely proud of everything that they put together. And um, I, I just can't tell you enough how um, how this experience is just program changing. Um, and just give it up to the girls. They played so hard. This season's been full of ups, full some downs too. You guys were able to kind of fly in here as the number five seed. Maybe people weren't thinking you to win it, but you pretty much dominated every single game. Can you talk about what that means to you? Yeah, we, you know, at the end of the day, it didn't matter what we were seeded um, because you have to come out here and it's anybody's ball game. And this this season throughout the conference has had so much parity. Um, so throughout the top eight, um, the top the, the top eight that has been played, so much parity. And so you just had to come out here and you had to play your best game. So we've talked, like I said, all week about every game being a championship game. And, um, oh, we're getting fussy. Every game being a championship game, and um, it's not just about what happened today. It was what happened yesterday, the day before, and we just continue to carry it over and um, <laughs> just came out here with the same approach and mentality, and it got us it got us the last dub of the tournament, and that's what we wanted to experience. Talk a little bit about Savvy. She's a tournament MVP, and she just kind of took it to another level this week. You know, and she just kept climbing up the offensive lineup for us because she just kept putting the bat on the ball. So she went from the six to the um, to the four hole for us today. She is just so impressed by her doing it all um, on both sides of the ball, offensively and in the circle. And she's just locked in right now. And that's the best time of the season to be locked in, right? Is right now. And um, and I'm just so proud of her. What a what a great comeback after throwing 13 solid innings last night and watching her get stronger as she went and then coming out here and just putting up another double digit K performance. Um, <laughs> what's the last couple weeks been like for you? you bring uh, Emma into the world, you're a MAC champion, going to NCAAs. So just talk about kind of what's going through your mind. Um, I just keep riding a high, you know, I just keep riding a high as much as I'd love a 10 hour night of sleep. It's not going to happen. Just keep riding a high and know it's being all done for great reasons for her, for this team, this amazing support staff behind us. Um, I just am just so just living on the moment right now and just excited about it all. Um, finally, looking ahead to NCAAs, what do you think that's going to be like when you guys take the field wherever we go? It's going to be an experience that we've already experienced playing a higher level team that's here for postseason. That's why we play the schedule that we have. Um, just getting out there and playing softball, that's what we need to focus on. Just excited to find out where we're going to go, obviously. Um, but, you know, these girls deserve it, and that's why we played the challenging schedule is to get on the field against people who have, um, are, who have been at regionals before and us being prepared for that.